Hello, welcome back to my sixth reading vlog. So it's Tuesday now, so I just thought I'd come and start this vlog off, let you know what I'm currently reading. As you may know, if you've been following my vlogs, I'm having a really hard time reading at the minute and I haven't finished a book in over two weeks. So I'm currently reading two books. I'm reading Empire of Storms, which I'm 250 pages into. And this is kind of on hold at the minute. I'm only reading it a little bit. I think I have actually read a couple of chapters on script on my phone since I've altered where my bookmark is. But I'm like a third of the way through this one. I do really love this book. However, Sarah J Mass books sometimes take me a little bit longer to read, especially I've read them before. I'm not as compelled to carry on, so it's not really great for a slump. And for that reason, I picked up The Sea Witch by Sarah Henning, which is a sea witch from Hans Christian Andersen's Little Mermaid retelling. I'm currently 100 pages into this. I didn't do any reading yesterday or since I've last updated vlog, but that is because, as you guys all know, that Mondays are kind of busy for me. So I'm enjoying this okay so far. It's an average young adult fantasy so far and I don't really have many thoughts on it. As some of you guys know, I have been sick and I am still a little bit sick. I had a full blown cold on Saturday and for most of Sunday morning that has cleared up however I'm back to the really tight chest and cough which sucks because I can't go to the gym because I can't breathe and even walking from where I park my car to work is a bit of a struggle. I'm hoping that's gonna clear up soon because the general like illness side of it has left me with really low energy, which combined with not going to the gym, because as silly as it sounds, the more you exercise, the more energy you have. I just generally don't want to do anything and my channel is also suffering for it. I'm gonna go do some editing because like I said, it's Tuesday. I don't have a Tag Tuesday video prepared because the video that I filmed with Ryan is like a heads up kind of video and we have a lot of footage. So I spent like an hour and a half editing last night. I still have quite a ways to go. So I'm gonna go and do some editing of that. I don't have a video for Thursday. I go through these patches where I have like loads of ideas and then patches where I have literally no ideas at all. So I think for the evening, I'm going to crack on with editing some videos. I'm gonna plan out some videos because I do need to film a video tomorrow and then maybe do some reading because I'm just feeling kind of shitty and run down and tired and I'm struggling with things like basic things like cooking because I just don't have the energy to think about what I want to eat and I don't particularly want to eat. So everything's just kind of meh at the minute, which isn't great. But I just thought I'd come on, start off this, this vlog, let you know what I'm reading, what I'm doing, where I'm at. And hopefully throughout the week, you will see me pick up a bit and be a bit more like my normal self. So I'm gonna go get on with the editing because that video is not gonna edit it itself. Unfortunately, I would really love it to. And I'll catch up with you guys later. This isn't what I think it is. Like, as it started, is it counting at yeah. the bottom? If this isn't what I think it's it is, the then I'm probably gonna cry, okay? But I have a parcel here. Oh my God. I'm dead, I'm dead. And this package is disgusting. Just let me in. Nightmares. I have an arc. I have views of nightmares. I have an arc. I have views of nightmares. And it's orange. And they actually sent me an arc. I can stop now, I'm dead. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wednesday evening. As you may have saw, today I received an arc of Muse of Nightmares. I am so excited. I did not think I was getting this. I sent an email to Holder and Stoughton in June. I was aware that I probably wouldn't get a reply, but all of the arcs went out really early. They went out in like June, July, so I just assumed I wasn't getting one. And I walked in today. I've only ever requested two arcs in my life. I requested this and I've requested the Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon from Bloomsbury. So I walked in and I saw this on the table and I thought oh maybe it's a gift from someone in like the Throne of Glass read-along or maybe I've pre-ordered something I've forgotten about and it's come in and I saw Hodder and Stoughton on the packet and I started screaming and then my boyfriend started filming me and oh god can you believe can you believe I've got this Ryan said that I was asking for unicorns with the books I'm requested and maybe that's true but my unicorn has come in so naturally we're just gonna forget about the other two books that I've been reading and I'm gonna start this immediately as I've received it as an arc from the publisher. And thank you so much to Hodder and Stoughton for sending this to me. 
you have no idea how happy I am. I will be doing a review to go up in October. I will also be doing a book diary, which is going to be really weird because I'm going to be filming that now and then only actually putting it up in October. Isn't this the most beautiful arc ever? Like, to get an arc is amazing, but to get such like a hyped arc and such a well-made arc in that it's almost as beautiful as the book itself. Just incredible. So I'm going to be reading this now. Hopefully I can get it finished before Contemporary Athon starts, which gives me four days. But Tomb Raider is also released tomorrow, as in the game. The Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I think, and I've pre-ordered that. It's not released tomorrow, it's released on Friday, but I possibly will get it tomorrow because it's dispatched today. And I'm also obsessed with World of Warcraft. So God knows what I'm going to do, but I am going to go and start this now because Don't Tell the Bride is on <laughs> in about half an hour, which I don't watch because I don't watch shows like that, but it was filmed literally across the road from my house. Like, actually, that's not even, like, an exaggeration to say it was filmed close. It was literally across the road. So I'm going to go watch that, but I want to read a few chapters of this first. <laughs> Yeah, ask my queen. I'm gonna level it. There are no parachutes. I know. Hey guys, it's Friday afternoon and I finished work for the weekend and honestly this is my favourite part of the week because I just feel like Friday after work you have so much anticipation for the weekend and it never turns out as good as you expect it to be but there's always just so much excitement. So I'm off work all weekend, I had some stuff to update you on yesterday but I was so swept up in the excitement of everything and that I just didn't want to take time out to vlog. So today, Friday, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was released, which is my one of my favourite video game franchises. But my copy arrived yesterday because I pre-ordered it with shop2.net, I think. And my boyfriend pre-ordered Spider-Man, which was released last Friday, and both of them came the day before their release days. So I just had to jump on this and play it pretty much straight away. So I played like the first chapter or something, but I just love Tomb Raider so much. My mum used to play it when I was a kid and I always used to find it really scary. It was too scary for me to play because I was scared of things jumping out at me and dying. So I used to watch her play it and that was like some of, one of my favourite things to do when I was a kid. And I have replayed a lot of the old games now. I have all the original PS1 ones and I do have still have a PS1 and a PS2. The new franchise are some of the only games I've completed recently because I tend to get halfway through because I like really long RPGs. I tend to get halfway through and give up. I'm super excited and this is going to be taking up some of my time in the coming weeks. And they also came with these patches that I'm never going to use but they are really cute. So the first one says I love tombs and the second one which is I really like this one. It says raiding tombs since 96 which I haven't been because I was three then but I was watching my mum around that time so you know I was there. I, I was there. But I just don't like sew on patches because I have nothing to sew them onto and they're just very, I feel like they're permanent when you sew them on, you can't move them. Like what if the jacket I sew them onto gets ripped or I get too skinny for it or too fat for it, you know? Like I just don't, I never use patches. But they're cute and they came free as like a pre-order incentive. I also went to the library yesterday because I had to return the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And something I reserved is waiting for me, but I have a problem. The book that I've collected from the library I reserved like a month before Booktubeathon because I reserved it at the same time as Evelyn Hugo and I wanted Evelyn for Booktubeathon. And it is The Poppy War by R.F. Kwong, I want to say, but I'm not entirely sure. I've heard it said a million times, but now that it comes to me saying it, I just can't pronounce it. But this book is a chunky fantasy. It's 530 pages, that's including in acknowledgements, but it's over 500 pages. I've waited so long for this book and I know that I'm not going to be able to renew it, so I have to read this in three weeks. However, I'm in a massive reading slump. I'm in the middle of three books right now, none of which are contemporaries, 
and Contemporary-a-thon starts next week. So how am I supposed to read all these books? I don't know because as soon as Contemporary-a-thon ends I'm co-hosting a read-along of Strange the Dreamer. So I'm going to be reading 80 pages of that a day which is more than I've been reading while I've been in a slump anyway. So I don't know what I'm going to do because I really want to get to this. This is a historical fiction with fantastical elements I believe that centers around the rape of Nanjing which I believe is a historical event but I don't know anything about it so I'm that's just like my rough guess I think it's based on an actual historical event but I'm not 100% sure please correct me if I'm wrong that's just me making assumptions based on what I've heard. Yesterday I was also watching a lot of people's wrap-ups and I saw this on the recently returned shelf at the library and somebody and I can't for the life of me remember who it was but somebody mentioned that they had read this in a wrap-up recently and it is Sal by Mick Kitson. I am going to read this in Contemporary-a-thon. It's only 200 and something pages and so it will definitely be done soon. But this is a story of familial abuse and it is about two sisters and one of them researches lots of videos and YouTubes and reads Bear Grylls guidebooks and things like that and runs away with her little sister because her little sister is just about to turn 10 and that is the age that her father started abusing the older sister. Very hard hitting which is my favourite kind of contemporary. I really like them to be dark and gritty and I'm really excited to read this one. <laughs> it's got a really dark subject matter but I am excited to read it. And so if anybody knows anything about this please let me know. It is set in Scotland as well which isn't too far. Obviously I'm English it's not too far away. I'm not a huge fan of things set in the United Kingdom, I, I have to admit, because I, I don't know, it's, it's weird, I just don't really like it, I prefer Americanized entertainment. So if anyone's read this, please let me know what you think, or if you were the person that said that you'd read it, let me know because I really don't remember who you are. And then lastly, I have a quick little unboxing of some more planner stickers, I think. These arrived today from, I think I got them from Ickle & Co. Ooh. I don't exactly remember what I've got, but I just remembered something. Let's see. Oh, we got some washer tape. Okay. So something is in here that I actually apparently ordered. No recollection. I am always wary about using my quarter boxes and half boxes because I'm like, oh, I'll run out and then I'll need one. So I don't want to overdo it on them. So I did get some new ones. So these are my new sort of, they're not really half boxes, but they're like post-it sticky things, which I thought were really cute. So I got some of these. Oh, I forgot that I got these. I also got these, which aren't quite quarter boxes. My to-do lists aren't very big. So these are perfect because they are just like one strip and then I can tick it off in the heart. So picked these ones. And Ickle & Co, I'll put the link down in the description to the Etsy shop. But she does like these little really cute Disney designs and like each sheet is a different film. And I don't have any use for them, but they are beautiful and I'm obsessed with Disney, which a lot of you will know if you've been here a while. So I got a Lion King set this time. I'm, I'm going to collect them all, even though they're supposed to be used, whatever. This time I got Lion King. I then also got an oops bag because oops bags are highly reduced stickers and there isn't often a lot wrong with them. Most of the stickers on the sheets are really reusable. So you get like 10 or 12 sheets and I'm just gonna run through these really quickly because there's there's a lot of them. So it tends to be like they've been cut too thick or too thin or the foil slightly scratched or something like that. But I have bow headers, silver foiled quarter boxes. The last time I ordered an oops bag from Ickle & Co, I didn't get any foil, so this is exciting. Boxing gloves, which I'll probably use to replace some workout stickers. More bow headers. See, you get 12 sheets, but if she needs to include duplicates, you get more than 12. So I've got two sheets each of these two colors in the bow headers. Gonna have so much fun with these. Ah, I got a Star Wars set of those, which is really cool because there's an extra set. These ones aren't particularly useful to me and I have received some before, but they are date headers. So like the date numbers and stuff, but my happy planner already has the days in, so that's not really very useful to me very often. I have little foiled coffee stickers. Ooh mini silver check boxes. I have two sheets. Do I have two sheets of these? Two sheets of coffee because adulting is hard foil. Another sheet of those. Another one of these. I have some fat bows. I have two sheets of foiled bows, just like little bow ones. This is crazy. This is like such a big oops bag. I have three of those actually. So I've got three of those bow things. So I'll be using them on everything. A set of just like plain foiled strips more bows she must have had tons of bows that went wrong in these two colors vet appointment a vet appointment one which i could use for my dog i guess and some gold ones so that is all of those that's like a crazy big bag that cost me like 
five pounds or something for all of those stickers. Reading update wise, <laughs> reading Muse of Nightmares. I've not made a great chunk, but I will do this weekend. I'm 94 pages in. The problem is I've been reading it just before bed, but I have had to go to bed quite early to go to work. And then there's also like Tomb Raider. There's just so much that needs my attention and so little time. But yeah, I'm loving it so far. The first 60 pages or so is just a recap of what happened at the end of Strange the Dreamer and sort of setting up where we are now. So I'm just getting into the story. Theon and, is it Calix Day? Are doing some stuff and it's getting really exciting. And I'm just, oh, I'm so happy to have this. You are like that. Oh, I'm so happy. So this is what I'm going to continue reading. I have been dipping in and out of Empire of Storms in the ebook, but I haven't made a huge amount of progress on that. But I'll recap everything that I've read on Sunday. So I'm just going to carry on reading this. And yeah, I think I've been talking for long enough for a short vlog update now. So I'm going to catch you later. My dinner is ready like now though so I gotta go but I hope you liked all that random content and I'll talk to you later. Good evening darlings it is Sunday evening so I'm going to let you know all of the things that I've read this week. So I've completed nothing there's that who we didn't think that I was going to let's be honest. I'm still currently reading The Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. I'm on page 116 however I've now put this down for the minute so that's two books that I have temporarily on hold. The second book I temporarily have on hold is Empire of Storms by Sarah J Mass. although I did add the pages that I've been reading on script. If I have an appointment or something I'll just open that up in script and read some of that so I'm up to page 285 of that so I have read about 40 pages this week which is more than I thought I had. And then the book that I've started this week and have made the most progress in is Muse of Nightmares The Ark by Lainey Taylor and I'm up to section three of this which is page 239 and I am adoring it. It's amazing guys. You, you're gonna love it. It is Contemporary-a-thon next week. I've just put my TBR up today so I have to read Contemporaries next week and as you know I'm in the middle of three fantasy novels. The week after Contemporary-a-thon is the Strange the Dreamer read-along that I'm co-hosting so I need to finish this before the Strange the Dreamer read-along starts because while I don't mind reading this and then going back to reread Strange, I can't read them both at once. That's not doable. That's not a thing I can do. So I think what I'm going to do during Contemporary Thon is I'm going to prioritise the four books I have on my TBR, which I'm not sure how long To All the Boys I Love Before is, but the others are all quite short or really easy to read. So I'm going to prioritise those, but also be reading sections of this. If I read 50 pages of this a day, it will be finished in a week. So I'm going to try and do that because I also only really want to read this because I'm obsessed with it right now. But we'll see how it goes and I'll fill you in next week. As I just said, next week is contemporary thon, so next week will be a contemporary thon vlog. It will be pretty similar to all of the other non read thon vlogs. It's just I will be telling you a lot about the challenges for contemporary thon and what I'm reading for those. But I think that's pretty much all I have to fill you in on. I have Tomb Raider paused over there and I just want to get stuck back in. I think I'm going to play for maybe an hour and then I have to go get a shower. So I'm going to go do that. And I will see you guys in my next reading vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. But that's everything from me today. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you will go where nobody knows. With guns hidden under our petticoats. We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no.